I kind of wanted to show you guys another device that I just got hold of recently. It's going to replace my Cyclops Easy OSD, and this is the Feutech Hornet OSD that goes with my FY31AP. And um, I'll get it open here. Um, like the FY31AP, the Hornet OSD comes really nicely packaged. Uh, nice box, nice hard plastic case. Uh, everything is really well um, wrapped and, and packaged, I guess I should say. Um, let's see, we open up the top, and we got the Hornet OSD. This is, uh, I believe, an aluminum housing. It's got a micro SD card for recording flight data. It's about the same size, I think, as the FY31AP length and width, but it's a little bit uh, less, a little bit thinner. Um, so, I'm kind of looking forward to being able to use this on my system. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here in the box? Uh, we have um, another GPS. Now, I've got a GPS that comes with my FY31AP autopilot system. Um, I guess you use this GPS if you're hooking this up alone uh, by itself, but I plan on connecting this to my autopilot. So my understanding, and I haven't read the instructions or anything yet, but my understanding is that you can use this OSD connected to the autopilot and use the same GPS for both devices. Um, and I believe this OSD will also display the mode of my FY31 autopilot as well. If I'm in alert return to launch, it'll display that if I'm in auto circle or nav mode or whatever. So, um, yeah, so hopefully I won't have to use this GPS and I can maybe keep that as a spare. But other than that, we've got a bunch of cables to connect this, uh, connect the GPS, connect it to the, oh, to the autopilot. Um, it looks like some cables for the uh, switch to change the display, uh, cables to go to the video transmitter, cables to go to the camera. I think all that is going to be in this little package right here. Um, let's see, aside from that, uh, current sensor here, and this is going to connect my battery through it, and um, it'll give me my, you know, how much juice I'm using while I'm flying. Um, other than that, the only thing that's left really is the manual, which is more like a big pamphlet, um, but, it, oops, but it is color, um, and actually nicely printed to boot. Uh, it's got some samples of what the display is looking for. One of the reasons that I'm really interested in this OSD is um, one of my more recent flights, I got out with my uh, flying wing and I was flying around and a fog bank rolled in and I was completely immersed in fog. And as a result, I didn't know which direction I was going other than watching my altitude. I didn't know whether I, you know, what my ad flight attitude was at all. This has an artificial horizon, so if, I, if it ever happens again, hopefully it won't, but you never know. If I ever get caught in a fog bank or I'm up in a cloud, I can always tell what my orientation is. That's a feature I never thought I would need until I got stuck in that fog bank, and then I decided, well, I need an OSD that'll um, have an artificial horizon on it. So, um, yeah, I've been real satisfied with the FY31 AP. Um, it's a... Uh, nicely made unit and the Hornet OSD also seems like it's very well built as well so I'm looking forward to getting this in my Skywalker okay this is screen one of the OSD it displays all the OSD data including GPS coordinates and an attitude error measurement Screen 2 reduces the clutter a bit by removing the GPS coordinates and a few other bits of data. Screen 3 removes all the graphical flight data but includes critical elements and the home radar. Screen 4 removes the home radar and GPS signal lock data. Screen 5 turns all the OSD data off. Now if you look in the bottom center, you'll see RC. That tells me that the FY31AP is in RC mode.
The ACM mode is auto circle mode. RTL is the return to launch mode. ABM is auto balance mode or simply stabilized mode. Nav is waypoint navigation and you'll notice it's cycling between nav and the active waypoint which is number one. Now these are all functions of the FY31AP um, as displayed through the Hornet OSD. Finally as I rock my airplane back and forth you'll see the artificial horizon moving with that. Okay, a few final thoughts on this Feutech Hornet OSD. The things I like about it is that it integrates really well with the FY31AP and in doing so it uses a single GPS for both devices. It also displays the autopilot modes right on the screen. I also like the artificial horizon and the construction is really really solid. Some things I'm not that crazy about is the OSD only displays the video voltage on screen one. That's the screen with all of the data on it. Um, as you start weeding down data, that video uh, voltage is one of the first things to go. Also, a couple of times the artificial horizon seemed a little bit slow to update. Uh, not really that big of a problem, but possibly future firmware upgrades might take care of that. Finally, I'd like to give a big thanks to HobbyWireless.com for supporting the FPV community. Top-notch FPV equipment. Go check them out.